Uh, you're awake. You're unconscious, and I brought you here. Hope you don't mind. Where am I? Royal Pharmaceuticals Research Lab. Yeah, I saw Philip Tate come in here. As a policeman, I can't ignore that, can I? Right. Hey, Uncle? He's here? He's mighty suspicious. With all the evidence, he's got to be involved somehow. Mm -hmm. No, that's not true. My uncle's the laboratory director. It's perfectly normal for him to be here. Uh -huh. well, in any case, you stay here. I'm going to take a look around. Well, yes. Okay, you go do that, buddy. Hey, welcome back, everybody, to Clock Tower 2. Or 3, depending on where you're from. Uh, we finally made it to the final chapter uh, of the game, which is... Well, it's quite something. To, to put it lightly, uh, I haven't explored this chapter yet. I'm just going to go straight into this and see what happens. Because due to something happening in the first stage, as I've said before, pretty sure we can't get the good ending. Um, in fact, I think there's only one ending that we can now get. Or two, maybe. We're, we're going to explore and see what happens. But instead of going through this like a professional... Um, I thought it might be fun to start with, just to have a little look around together, see what we can find, see if we can stumble into the endings and whatnot. The door is locked. Oh. It looks like we need a key card. A slot for inserting cards. Excellent. Okay, that's fine. I do have a map here at the moment, which is uh, what I am using, because... This one is quite a freaking mess, should we say. So this leads to upstairs. So we start off in corridor one. Um, hang on, that map must be wrong then. Oh no, no I see. Okay, so upstairs will lead us to where? So if we go up the stairs, I can see where this leads on the map. Hmm, that's kind of strange. It doesn't actually show you where you come in. Ah, yes, it does. We should come out next to a storage room. Oh, God. Uh, oh, oh, my. Oh, my. Okay, we actually come out into, like... One second, guys. And we're back. Right, this map is uh, more confusing than I originally thought, but... Never mind. I'm pretty sure we shall persevere. So, let's just start opening up doors. Um, apparently this section of the game Ooh, we can open this one. This section of the game is... Ooh, hello. The longest part. This, this section is actually extremely long compared to the other two. The middle, um, uh, the second stage in the hospital was actually really, really short once you know what you're doing. Okay, so we have this chap. So what the hell is he doing hey, here? Alyssa. Bowman. Mr. Bowman? Wow, he looks rather Just chipper. Saw something really nasty. A man covered with blood carrying a big hatchet. <laughs> All right. attacked me. Look out, he's dangerous. A man covered with blood? What? Yeah, watch out for him. <laughs> What? Like, literally no shit's given. It's like, yeah, don't worry, little young girl. I don't know how she's supposed to be. 15 odd, I suppose. Yeah, don't worry about it. There's, there's like a maniac running around with a hatchet covered in blood. But uh, just be careful. And look, he gives no shits. It attacked him. And he's still here, just thumbing through everything. I do not even know what to say. I guess we've got... Whoa, what the... F what the fuck? Wait. Wait. It's just 
just got attacked by a load of meat. I wonder and what's organs. in there. And like, he saw that and no shit's given. Okay. I don't really get the. Don't really know what happened there, but sure, everything seems normal. It's just random as hell, man. It's just like, I mean, is there su supernatural stuff going on? Or a virus or both? Like, come on, game, help us out here. Ah. <sighs> So, oh, oh, uh, what? So that leads back downstairs. So that's the door back downstairs, not the door that she's standing outside of. Okay, let's go through here. Let's try this one. This whole area is just one massive maze as well. Ooh. Something about this, these lockers, I assume they're lockers, yeah, they remind me of um, Metal Gear Solid, I don't know why, some kind of texture or something, hmm. There's nothing in here. Mm-hmm, okay, that's cool, I suppose. Now, do we keep on going through? Ah, that door's locked, okay. So, by process of elimination, we can't go any further. That's good. Ooh, cloud. What's that noise for? Hmm. So, that leads back downstairs. So, where does this one lead? And don't mind my cats. They're just hissing at each other. As they do. What is this? Some kind of library. Now, can we turn the light on? I guess we can. Cool. We have a chair. We have a box. Oh, we can actually examine some of this stuff. You found a key. Ooh. Does it say actually where that key is for? Exam room key. Alright. We just need to find an exam room. Hmm. I wonder if that's the door that we couldn't get into a minute ago. Let's go have a look. Um, and that one was through there, I think. Because that leads back down. Yeah. So is this the exam room? Hmm. What do you reckon, Alyssa? No, that's not the exam room. Okay. Fair enough. We could use some health as well. After getting attacked by that fucking weird, I don't know, load of organs, I assume. That was kind of bizarre. Uh, did we go through that one? I can't remember. Yeah, that's where we got attacked by the meat and Bowman was standing. I see. That meat is actually back now, but I don't really want to go tango with it. If that is quite all right by your fine selves, of course. The cat is desperately trying to get up. Cloud. You know what we say about the keyboard, Cloud. And please don't sit on my map. As useless as that map is, it is still my map. Okay, cool. So, oh, now that's the, like which one of these doors did we? Did we come through that door? No, that door's locked. Is it the exam room? Looks like he came. Oh, right. That's the way back. Okay. So that's the way we came. I got you. So we need a key card for that, which you can't use. Uh, this has got to be the exam room, I guess. Either that, or we're fucked. We're completely out of doors. Oh. We're fucked. We're completely out of doors. <sighs> uh, 
can we go back through this one? Okay. Is that a key card? Doesn't look like a key card. Slot for inserting cards, so no. Okay, so we already came from there, so there's got to be a door up here that we've missed somewhere. Come on, Alyssa. I'm sure we can work this out between our fine selves. Right. That leads back downstairs. Let's try the door furthest away from us first. That just leads in here, and that's actually where we... What is... Uh, I can't do nothing with that. So this is where we found the key. Well, there's nothing here. Hmm. Okay. I haven't had Monster Ripper in ages. Oh no, that's the Doctor. Ooh, that's good. Um. Okay, let's go through here. This just leads like another lab. Oh, we can actually examine this. Everything seems normal. Well, that's no good. That's not exactly examining it, Alyssa. Now, if we examine that again, are we going to get horribly murdered again? Should we find out? Really? So you can repeat that process? Uh, good to know, I guess. Kind of seems silly, but... I wonder. Yes, I'd like to know what's in there as well, but... Um, Alyssa? These books look really technical. No, I'd expect nothing less, being in this kind of research laboratory. Hmm. Holy crap. You know, usually I drink the sugar-free ones. How much sugar is in that? Fucking hell. 219 calories a can. Fucking hell. That is mad. Uh, right, let's go through here. Uh, we're pretty much dead. Next event. Which is awkward. Okay, so where the cheese and biscuits do we go? Oh, okay. I thought we tried that one. I guess not. Ooh. Well, this looks interesting. What kind of creature is that? I've never seen anything like it. Uh, that actually just looks like a, a box to me. I don't know about you, uh, Alyssa. Now that looks like a... Ooh, hello. The <laughs> fuck? Okay, that was random. Found a shotgun. Well, already then. Nice. Guess there's nothing else in here. I wonder if that was a zombie, because it does say that unless the brain's destroyed, they will keep coming. So, I wonder if that was trying to symbolize that, maybe. Let me guess, the phones are dead. The line is dead. <gasps> shocking, shocking stuff. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Nothing we... Ah, we can search that one. Ooh. It works. Works, but uh, we can't do anything with it. Let's check this. Anything good? Mm, just normal seeming shelves full of books. Of course. Everyone must die. Evening, Chief. Suffer forever. Oh, sounds wonderful. Um Yeah, cool story. Uh Alyssa, you might want to run away from this guy. 
This, uh, I am rapidly pushing the buttons, but nothing's happening. Well. Okay. I'm guessing she just decided not to run away from him. Or was it because we were on dead red life? I don't know. Hmm. It doesn't work. Hmm. We're going to search that anyway. Um, we do have a shotgun. Hmm. I don't know if we should turn into bait. Maybe. Can we put the amulet down there? We can. Cool. All right. Let's try that again, shall we? <gasps> Evening, buddy. Now, can we use the shotgun on him? Uh-huh. Cool story, bro. Tell it again. We can't use the shotgun on him. Really? Okay. Uh, I wasn't expecting that. Why can't we use the shotgun on him? The shotgun just for zombies? That's kind of redundant. Uh, right, we need to defend ourselves against this guy now. Um, we don't really have anything. Uh, so we can't use the shotgun that is literally in our back pocket. So what defensive options do we have? Oh, fucking hell. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Let's just keep running. Oh, can't even use that. Can't even use the big obvious chair. <sighs> well, I think we're screwed, guys. Ah. Uh. Okay. So we definitely can't use the shotgun. Oh, now we can use the shotgun. Although, why she's moving towards him, I do not know. Come on. Ah. Oh, this game, guys. Guys, this game. Ah, right. Um. Come on, you bastard. See, the shotgun, um, Retsuko actually came up then. So, I'm assuming we can kill him. In your own time, buddy. In your own time. Ah, fuck this. Uh... Oh, okay. It just took him like a thousand years to come at us. He's just... He's so not threatening it hurts. You know? Like, Scissor Man, there was actually like a little bit of dread because... I don't know. I don't know why. But he was just kind of a cool, fleshed out character. This guy's just shit. Embarrassing. Right, let's try the shotgun. See, we've got a, a cursor. Wow, he actually took two shotgun blasts. But we downed him. Okay. I mean, good, I guess. Right, let's go back to where we were. I think it was through this one. 
Uh, yeah. So I'm assuming that it's not like a time thing. Oh, fuck. Uh... Okay. Um... Okay, I don't know why if we shoot them with a shotgun. Uh, we don't actually leave the room like we used to with a pistol. Oof. I've had the sorest throat as well for the last few days. Ah, it's horrible. Um, you've discovered hint eight. See hint now. Uh, sure. No hints this time. Try and help. Can't make that shit up. Can't, uh, can't make that shit up. Right, what's through this? So the last hint of the game, I think that was the last hint of the game, was actually a joke hint. So, haha, <laughs> hint, but not really. I have no words. I, well. Ooh. What's the big red barrel? Nothing, apparently. Okay. Nothing, apparently. So which door did we come in? I'm assuming that one. Because we can't interact with that one. Okay. Not often you find a door in this game that you can't interact with. Oh. Well, this is fancy. Um, oh, what the... The... F Fuck was that? Everyone must die. Uh -huh. Cool story, bro. So we got another ending. What ending was that then? Uh Easiest way to find out. So, that was the ending where dude... F oh, that was G. So. So, G. If you don't activate the statue, once you've reached Corridor 2 in Part 3, you'll only be able to enter the courtyard. Entering this courtyard will trigger this ending. Yes, it sucks to make it this far, only to have to start the entire game again. Yeah. Yeah, remember I said we did something in the original story? We didn't actually activate the, um, the statue. Apparently, if we activate the statue, at a certain point, it will start walking around and kind of hunting you down. Um, you need to do that by examining the statue. Now, if you remember, we examined that statue a lot. But you have to examine it at a specific point. Otherwise, you are doomed to only be able to get... Or that to be the furthest ending you can get. But... So... Because we can't get past that point without it. So if we push start... So before we start a new game, and we have to play it through from the beginning, which, you'll forgive me if I don't do cartwheels of excitement. Um, so H, we haven't cleared H. How do we get H? So... T 
talk. <laughs> this is what it says on my guide to get ending H. Talk to her as use other personality. Talk to who? Let's go back to the guide. Right. Okay, so we can actually get this H ending without starting again. So if we load this save and follow the steps on this guide, we can get H. And then we can start the game again. And follow this guide through so we can unlock the A ending. This game is the most cryptic and complicated game that I've played in a long time. I'm not kidding. I mean, there is a serious case of moon logic here. So... How long is this video? 23 minutes. We might be able to get ending H on this video. Okay. Right. So let's... Ah, oh, hints. Let's check out our hints. Now that question mark apparently unlocks when you complete the game. Oh, we actually missed most of the hints. Maybe we'll get the hints. Maybe we won't give a fuck. Who knows? I'm kind of tipping towards we won't give a fuck. Uh, so, let's load the fathers. I think the problem, I mean, yeah, okay, cool. It's got 13 endings. But the endings are bullshit. Uh, you're awake. Yeah, 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 yeah. Piss off, buddy. Right, so... Uh, you start in Corridor 1. Enter Storage 1. Let's just follow this one through. Storage 1. Which one is Storage 1? Ah, yeah. So the first thing we've got to do is get out of here. So, ooh. oh, no, no. It was through there, wasn't it? I remember. Now, we need to be careful because to get this ending, we need to be um, our alternate personality. Now, that was storage one, if I remember correctly. No, that's where we need to go. Okay. But storage one is attached. Okay. So that is storage one, I think. Was this where we found the key? Is it in one of these? Yeah, so that's where we got the key. So, ah, right, so, enter lab one and talk to the man. Enter lab one, talk to the man. Yeah, so that'd be Bowman. Uh, use the lab key to enter lab two, inspect the body, get the shotgun from the cart. Okay, so this is optional. So, optional, enter the hall, talk to the nurse. If you talk to her as your alternate personality, she will give you a shotgun. But we can't take the shotgun if we already get a shotgun from the lab cart. Yeah. 
Okay. All right. Kind of like, it, you know, I know I'm ragging on this quite a lot, but I'm actually kind of enjoying this LP. And I think that's because I'm kind of sitting here with you guys. We're kind of figuring it out. We got our guides. We got our maps. There's something deliciously old school about this. I mean, it's just unfortunate that the game's a load of old shit. Right, so we'll grab the shotgun from there. Though I don't think we really need to do that. Right, we're going to grab you. Now, then it says something about entering the hall, optional. Or failing that, we need to enter the women's toilets. One. So where's the women's toilets? So where are we? It's so confusing this. If I show you my my map that I'm running off, it's not exactly uh, easy to follow at the best of times. And then you look at how the actual guide is formatted, and it's just like a load of bullet points, basically. Um, it's a good guide. It gets the job done, but. So we're, we're now in lab two. Lab two. And we need to go to the women's toilets. Okay. The women's toilets. Where's office three? Hmm, office, office three is up there, so we need corridor three, Ugh. okay, so I'm assuming if we carry on through here, because we're in lab two, yeah, okay, okay, I think I know. Now, the only thing I'm not sure about is... Let's drop a save, because I don't know if... It, it's not overly clear if we have to be in our alternate personality to do this. Uh, let's just examine the body for good measure. Right. Now. It doesn't say. Let's just roll with it. Doesn't mention putting the amulet down. But what we're going to do is pause this. So, when it says to get ending H... Talk to her as use other personality. Right, so we do need to be bait then to do this. Okay. So it does it if you it says on the guide. Talk to the woman to get ending H, but it doesn't say talk to her as bait unless you go into the back and look up ending h and then it tells you i don't know why it doesn't tell you on the guide but there we go ah uh, right so we need to get rid of our amulet because fucking mr maxwell charges us right so we've dropped the amulet cool so we need to get rid of Mr. Maxwell. So we need to struggle with him. We kick him in the gonads. And then finish him with the shotgun. 
Yes, terrifying stuff. I know. I know. Pant shredding terror. There we go. Oh shit. Um The game's crashed. Really? <sighs> well, the game's crashed, guys. Um One second. And we're back, guys. Okay, so it's actually kind of lucky, I think, that I saved it in here and we didn't put the amulet down. God damn it. Ugh. It's not very often that... I, I find it hard to find a single positive in a game. I'm always looking for a positive in a game that I play. Even crap games have their have their um, merits, I suppose. But this game, man, it just has like no redeeming features whatsoever. Right, kick him in the nuts. So we can change. There we go. Down like a sack of taters. I mean, I guess it's a piece of history, but... It doesn't really do anything apart from illustrate... How bad... Um, some of the 3D era, or early 3D era. No! No, 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 no! Why? Why? Why are you moving? Come on. You are actually kidding me, right? You are literally kidding me. Why is the shotgun not working? Why? Why? There's no reason to it not working. Is there a secret button combination that I have to push? Right, and again. Why didn't... You know, I'm not even mad. Not even mad. It doesn't even matter. It doesn't matter. All we need to know and understand is this game is shit. With no redeeming features at all. We're playing it just for the experience. Oh, man. Right. So let's go through here. Ah, we got zombies through here. Piss off, Zed. Now. I don't know why we can't go through there. No, 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 we don't want to go through there, because that's game over. Um, so this has got to be the hall. So we want Office 3, which is around the other side. Kind of, around the other side, anyway. So that should lead round. We can't actually go through there. wonder why that is. So what's through here then? I don't know. Unless, guys, we can't get this ending. Because maybe we have to go... It doesn't mention it though, that's the thing. What's in here? Everything seems normal. 
Yeah, because we can't go through that. I'm assuming, yeah, we're locked into this path of doom. Because we need to go through the hall. Yeah, because there's no door on the other side. There's nothing. Well, that's a kick in the knickers. Right, well, in that case, looks like we're going to start a new game. Hmm. Yeah. I'm guessing then, once we're on that path for this ending, that's literally the only ending we can get. Hmm. Everyone must die. Mm-hmm. Well, that's a pain in the eye, ass, guys. So we're gonna, this is going to be an extra long episode. I don't know why I just did that, but... So it's going to be an extra long episode, I guess, Ugh. of nothing really um, resembling progress. But when we come back, we're going to start the game again and uh, make our way forwards to the rest of the endings. Bugger. All right, guys. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. And as always, till then.